Okay, now that we have um, an animation and some fact images, I'm going to get them into Snap. So Snap is a lot like Scratch. It'll look very familiar, but it makes um, some things easier, like loading up a bunch of costumes. So instead of having to load them one by one, I can go and find them here. There they are. Drag them in. Um, the only thing I have to do, uh, unfortunately, is rearrange them so I can do them in order. So I'm going from zero to five here. Great. All right. And then um, I want to make sure that the first image I start with is the right costume, which is Sprite Zero, I believe. Okay, click that. Yep. And now I'm going to get the animation going. Um, I know there's five more images coming, so I'm going to do a repeat and just do the next costume to get the animation going. So I can check that out Oop, really fast. So let's just slow that down a bit. Okay, that's better. I could adjust that later, but um, and then at this point, this is my first six images. Um, I want the, my fact to come up. So I now need to create a sprite for my fact. Go to costumes and we'll drag that fact image in. Okay. And I'll move it where I'd like it. Now, obviously, I don't want it to appear at the beginning, so I need it to hide at the beginning. And then um, I need to trigger it to play. So we're going to use broadcast. And we're going to be using broadcast quite a bit for this as we communicate between the sprites. So I'll broadcast fact one. And now when I receive fact one, I can show this. Well, let's see how that goes. It hides. It shows, and then I need to move on, right? So I don't want this uh, fact up there forever. So I'll do a wait again. And you know, you can adjust the timing um, on it. So now I need to pass control back to the first sprite, so the animation sprite. So I need another broadcast, and um, what should I call this one? I'm gonna call this one Uh, back two because we're going to the second animation. Or how about this? No, animate two. I like that better. Animate two. Okay. And then I need to hide it because I don't want it to appear anymore. And I'll pass back control here so when I receive animate two, um, now I can go add some more of my. Um, animations, the next six animations, and have those play through um, this. So that's how to get started. Do make sure that you log in here, right? Um, and that you're going to be saving your work, because it would be sad to lose it. Um, and we're going to save as. Um, we're going to save it uh, in the cloud. Uh, that way it doesn't matter what computer you're logged into. And right now we're just going to save it. Eventually you will share it so everybody can see it. All right, good luck.